Hi, I'm Ashish Mathur. Welcome to a short video on the usage of Microsoft Power Query. In this short video, I'd like to show you how to extract all and common unique entries from two lists into another range. For other MS Excel solutions, you may visit my website ashishmathur.com. Okay, so let's just see what the data actually looks like. If I go on to the next worksheet, you'll find two lists of entries over here, one in range A2 to A11, another one in range B2 to B13. Now in list one, there are some empty cells appearing and that's true for list two as well. Furthermore, in list two, you may observe that while an entry in cell B2, which is A, appears once again in B13 as well. So there may be repetitions of a certain entry in either of these two lists. Now, there are two questions I need answers to. First, I'd like to list all the all the unique codes from both the lists into another range. Next, I'd like to list all the common unique codes from both the lists into another range. Now, I can think of two solutions to this problem. First would be to use a formula based solution, which would be an array formula. The next would be to use Microsoft Power Query. Now, at this stage itself, I'd like to clarify that I would want my ultimate result set to be dynamic. In other words, if I were to either delete entries from these two lists or add further entries by rows or edit existing entries, I'd like my resultant data set to keep updating. And therefore, solutions such as advanced filters or remove duplicates are really not options over here. Let's see what's a formula based solution. So on the next worksheet, um, my result appears in two distinct ranges. This one lists down all the unique codes for me and this one, all the common unique codes from the two lists. So if I were to click on cell A, A2 there and tap the F2 key, you'll see there's a fairly lengthy array formula written in that cell, which I've copied all the way down to get all the unique codes. I've had to write a similar array formula in cell C2 as well to generate all the common unique codes here as well. Now, what's the benefit of writing such a lengthy formula? Well, if I actually went back to the dummy to the data sheet there and let's say added an entry here called dummy without making any further edits anywhere without any copying and pasting that automatically appears in this this range over here if i go back and delete dummy from there i get back to where i started from so while the formula based solution works quite well for me the only problem is that it is difficult and rather quite intimidating to actually first of all write it and later you know sort of maintain it or um, identify problems with this formula if you ever have to edit it, so on and so forth. So it's not that easy to maintain lengthy array formulas. Let's see what the power query solution there actually is. So if I go on to the next worksheet, you'll find the result over here exactly matches the result over here. And the same goes for this range here as well. Now these are power query solutions. If I were to tap the F2 key while on any cell, you'll see there's no formula underlying uh, in the formula bar there. Nevertheless, all I need to do is right click and click on refresh for whatever changes I make to my source data sheet, I'll automatically get to see the result over here. Now let's just see as to how this power query solution actually came about. So what I did initially was I selected this range over here. I went to power query, clicked on from table. Thereafter, I just said load settings. I uncheck the box for load to worksheet. Click on apply and close. So that's list one that generates for me. As you can see in the workbook queries window, there's something called a table one un and within parenthesis, there's a two over there. So let's just create a similar one for list one uh, for the second list of uh, words as well. So I head on to power query, click on from table there and uncheck the box for load to worksheet, click on apply and close. You'll now see there's a table four within parenthesis number two there. Now, to answer the question of how do we get all the unique codes in one running range, all I need to now do is in the Power Query window, click on append. I choose here table one parenthesis two, table four parenthesis two. Click on OK. I get entries one below the other from both the lists. I filter the list to exclude the null values from there. Right click, remove duplicates. 
and just give it a uh, meaningful name appended data and I ensure that this box over there is checked load to worksheet click on apply and close and that generates for me the list of unique entries from both the lists there are a total of 10 entries over here which exactly matches the number of entries over here that's 10 and that's exactly what I got in my power query solution as well which I already had when recording this video okay now let's look at the second question as to how do I actually list on all the common unique codes from both the lists so for that once again after having loaded these two individual ranges into the power query window all I can possibly do there is I go to power query and instead of append I click on merge so I go to merge here I say I'd like to merge table 1 parenthesis 2 with table 4 parenthesis 2 uh, one thing worth mentioning over here is that I've ensured that the heading of both the lists is actually the same this is something which I can change later and I'll do that in a while from now so I click on this I click on this by holding down the control key the selection has matched 8 out of the first 10 rows I click on OK there now there are two columns that you can see here in the power pivot uh, power query window list one and there's something called new column there with uh, two opposite headed arrows if I click on that there's list one selected out there click on OK there and that's what I come up with now all I need to do is I don't want the null values so I select this uncheck the null from there I right click I remove this column I don't need it any longer I remove the null from here as well and since there's A appearing twice and I want to list only the common unique entries from both the lists I can right click do a remove duplicates there call that merged data which I want to load to the worksheet and I can give this another meaningful name so let's just rename this to um, new column apply and close and I'm done so there are five entries listed over here in the formula based solution as well there were five entries there a C D B N E so that's how you actually get power query to dynamically extract all and common unique entries from two lists into another range without having to write any formula whatsoever the result is refreshable right click refresh and that's about it thanks for your time thank you for watching the video